Hey there, it's Mallory here with cats.com where we're all about cats. And in this week's video, I want to talk to you about the best cat dewormers you can buy. So deworming your cat is an essential part of keeping them healthy. All kittens should receive a round of deworming treatments early in life. And then they're most likely going to receive regular deworming uh, throughout their life with the frequency depending on their lifestyle. Outdoor cats are going to need to be dewormed on a regular basis to prevent them from getting infestations from the prey they're eating and other exposure. Whereas indoor cats are at a little bit of a lower risk. However, they can still get worms from a variety of other hosts. So for instance, mosquitoes can come into the house and give your cat heartworm, which is very serious. Um, and they can also get exposed to fleas, for instance, and get tapeworm. So there are a number of ways that even an indoor cat can get worms. You'll want to talk with your veterinarian to figure out what kind of deworming schedule is going to work for your cat. And once you figure that out, you can refer to this guy to choose the best dewormers for your cat. So my favorite broad spectrum dewormer, which is a dewormer that addresses multiple types of worms at once, is Drontal's uh, deworming tablets. So this dewormer contains two different uh, insecticides. One is Pyrantel palmoate, which kills roundworms and hookworms, which are a type of roundworm technically. And then it also contains Praziquantel, which is intended to treat tapeworms. So it addresses three of the most common types of uh, intestinal worms in cats. It does nothing for heartworm and it doesn't do anything for other types of parasites. So you want to make sure that the worms that your cat has are the worms that it's addressing. You can do that by taking in a stool sample. If you've established that your cat has one of these types of worms, then you can get a prescription for Drontal tablets. It's available only with a vet's prescription, but you can buy it in convenient places like on Chewy or Amazon provided that you have a vet's approval. Remember that these tablets aren't for every cat. One, some cats don't like taking tablets. It can be really hard to pill a cat sometimes. You can hide it in food. Still, it can be tricky for some cats. Also, it's not appropriate for kittens under eight weeks of age, nor is it appropriate for cats weighing under two pounds. One thing that I do like about it is that it only takes one dose to wipe out an infestation. So you give your cat one dose, which is determined by their weight, and then the infestation should be gone within seven days. A single dose costs about $5.49, um, so it's kind of moderately priced compared to other dewormers. Now, if you would prefer to use an over-the-counter medication, you can consider using Safeguard. Now, Safeguard is a fembendazole product. It's also referred to as Panicure and marketed for dogs. But uh, while it is approved for other species, it is not FDA approved for use in cats. However, it has been recognized among veterinarians and tested for safety in cats, and it is frequently used off-label for them. Again, you're going to want to talk with your veterinarian, but remember that fembendazole has a really strong safety reputation as well as a really strong efficacy reputation. It's used in a lot of livestock, a lot of different species of animals, and is among the most uh, respected and loved um, dewormers out there. Uh, one of the nice things about it is that it's such a broad spectrum insecticide. So it's going to address roundworms, whipworms, hookworms, uh, lungworms. It can also be used to treat giardia. It does not address the most common type of tapeworm in cats. Um, but if your cat has any of these other types of worms, it can be a really good option. So if you do decide that you want to give this product a try, make sure that you talk with your veterinarian and read the label carefully to make sure you're getting an appropriate dose for your cat. Again, it's not going to be labeled for cats. You can get it in several different um, formulations. You can get it in an oral liquid suspension, which is probably the most convenient. And it's pretty easy to just syringe it into a cat's mouth. So a 4.2 ounce bottle of the liquid oral suspension for goats, uh, which is probably the most commonly chosen one for cats, costs $36.99 on Amazon. And while the size of your dose will vary depending on your cat's needs, it'll generally break down to about 74 cents per dose. Um, Remember that you are going to need to give your cat several doses over several days. So it requires a little bit more consistent dosing than other dewormers, but it tends to be quite effective over that period of time. So a reasonably uh, affordable option compared to the others. 
Now, if you know that your cat has tapeworms, you've sent in a stool sample, you have confirmed that it is in fact a tapeworm infestation and you want something you can get over the counter, I would recommend Elanco's deworming tablets. Um, so these are made with only Prezaquantel. It is intended to address tapeworms. Just one dose will generally knock out the infestation within seven days and it tends to be pretty easy to find. You can get it on Amazon or on Chewy, and it's basically the same as the prescription only product Dronset. So if your veterinarian recommends this, you can probably go ahead and get the Elanco tapeworm deworming tablets. Now one tablet costs about $5.32. So again, kind of similar to some of the other popular deworming tablets on the market. Now my next recommendation is an over-the-counter option that only addresses roundworms, and it is the Hearts UltraGuard Ridworm Liquid Dewormer. This is probably my least favorite product on this list for a number of reasons. The main reason is that it contains some artificial flavors and sweeteners, which I don't really think are necessary. But if you have a cat who is not at all comfortable with taking tablets or pills, then this liquid medication can be a little bit easier to give. Just remember that the doses tend to be kind of large. So for instance, a five pound cat will need to take an entire teaspoon of it. Um, so you'll need to kind of weigh your priorities here if you're deciding whether or not to use it. The active ingredient here is piperazine citrate, which has a pretty strong reputation for eradicating uh, these roundworm infestations. While it tends to be pretty effective, you will have to re-administer after 14 days to make sure you get out all of the ringworms. So talk to your vet to figure out whether or not it's going to be a good option, and then you can go ahead and get this over the counter. Now on a per dose basis, this is the lowest cost dewormer on this list, about 32 cents per dose. My last recommendation is going to be a good choice if one, you want to prevent heartworm, and also if you want to have a preventative uh, treatment for your cat. So there are a number of reasons why you may be interested in a preventative treatment. Perhaps your cat goes outside, or perhaps you think their risk levels are a little bit higher for whatever reason. Um, and in this case, I would recommend either the original Revolution or Revolution Plus. So these are topical preventative insecticide treatments that are able to prevent a wide range of parasites. So the original Revolution contains an insecticide called Selamectin, and this allows it to prevent your cat from getting infestations of heartworm, roundworm, ear mites, and fleas. And then the newer Revolution Plus also contains an insecticide called Sarolaner. And this insecticide also deters three types of ticks. So if you live in an area where ticks are an issue, this may be a better option. So regardless of which version of Revolution you choose, you're going to want to apply it each month to keep your cat protected over time. And it's only available with a veterinarian's prescription. You can use it on cats aged six weeks or older, but you're going to want to talk with your vet to make sure that it's an appropriate choice. Remember that there are a few different options here. You can get formulations for smaller or larger cats, so make sure that you're getting the right one. And the uh, price of the product is going to vary depending on which product you get as well. So a three month supply is going to cost uh, somewhere between $73 and 14 cents and $86.99, depending on which formulation you buy. So breaking that down, your cost per dose is generally going to cost about $24.38. So that's it for my main recommendations for the best dewormers you can buy. Uh, at this point, I do want to make a note about so-called natural dewormers or alternative dewormers. There are a lot of products out there that perhaps show some promise for deworming. So some of the more promising include pumpkin extract or pumpkin seeds and wormwood. There's some limited evidence that shows that pumpkin extract and wormwood can help to reduce these infestations, but it's not really substantial enough to justify their use. And also uh, pumpkin seed by itself is not as potent as the pumpkin extract. And so there's no evidence for its use. So I wouldn't really recommend either of these. And I also wouldn't really recommend any of the homeopathic options that are recommended. There's really no evidence that they're going to be effective. And um, I think you can end up doing more harm than good to your cat by allowing a an infestation go on longer than it should. Another commonly recommended solution for uh, worms in cats is diatomaceous earth. And while it can be useful for getting rid of certain uh, unwanted creatures in the home, like fleas or even ants, uh, it shows no uh, benefit in getting rid of those internal parasites. It just doesn't work in that kind of wet environment. So I would not recommend using diatomaceous earth or any of these other proposed natural solutions 
It just doesn't really seem to be enough evidence that any of them work that well. I will put some links in the description so that you can learn a bit more about the efficacy of these treatments and understand uh, what the research is behind all of that. Regardless of which type of dewormer you use, you're going to want to do certain things to keep your cat healthy and kind of prevent them from getting worms. A few include making sure that you're preventing fleas in whatever way you can, treating the household and eradicating infestations as soon as you can. You can also keep your cat indoors and try to prevent them from catching any live prey, making sure that they are dewormed early in life and going in for routine checkups and fecal tests just to make sure everything's okay. Um, and also trying to keep their litter box clean. That can also help to reduce the amount of parasites in the home. That's about it for me. If you would like to learn more about the best dewormers you can buy, you can check out the article on the cats.com site. And uh, other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.